Greetings, and thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to come your way and spend a few moments with you today. We trust that you are personally growing in your walk of faith, and no matter what you're facing, that you are being strengthened because and through your knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. This week we are meditating on what the Apostle Paul told us in Ephesians 5 verse 1. He said, Therefore be imitators of God as dear children. And one of the ways we must learn to imitate God is learning to see as God sees. That means when we look at people around us, when we look at situations around us, when we look at the present, we must learn to see things as God sees them. Now, of course, all of us are accustomed to seeing things the natural way, as man would see. You know, we have a certain way of thinking, we have a certain uh, way of processing information, and so we tend to have our normal way of looking at things. But we are challenged in Scripture to see as God sees. And I'm sure many of us would uh, recall what God spoke to uh, Samuel the prophet as he went to the house of Jesse. And God had actually sent Samuel on an assignment to anoint one of Jesse's sons as the next king. So Samuel tells Jesse, you know, get all your sons together. Now, we don't know exactly what Samuel must have been thinking, but it very well could have been. Hey, I need to anoint the eldest boy. He's probably the most likely one uh, to be anointed as king. But while Samuel is there, and because he's a prophet of God, he's paying attention to what God is telling him, and he's skipping each one of the sons. And finally, it's none of the sons. And so he says, you know, anyone else left? And Jesse says, yeah, there's a young, the youngest. He's out there, in the, you know, taking care of the sheep. I didn't think of calling him. I didn't think it would be important for him to be here. You know, and that's when, as, uh, as uh, Samuel is uh, 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 look, uh, as, as going to this, you know, God speaks to Samuel and he tells him, Samuel, you know, do not look at his appearance or as, at his physical stature because I have refused him. For the Lord does not see as man sees. For man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. You know, God, is, God was dealing with Samuel in, in this whole process and teaching him something. Saying, Samuel, don't be impressed by the outside. I am looking at the heart. I'm looking at the inside in, in this whole process of selecting a king. And, and so that's something we also must learn. Learn to see as God sees. Not just be moved by the outward appearance or the way circumstances may appear or situations may appear or even people may appear to us. But learn to see beyond that. Learn to see the heart of the person. Learn to see the invisible. Learn to see the impossible. You know, it's very much like an architect or a designer. You know, take for example, you know, you take an architect and you show them a, an empty plot. And, uh, you know, they can envision a huge building, a structure, and all the rooms and all the layers. They can envision that. They, they are seeing the impossible. There's nothing there, but they're able to see something beyond what meets the eye. And we must learn to do that. Learn to see as God sees. And so you, you and I pray and say, God, help me to see as you see. Help me to judge, not as man judges, but as God would see the things and the way God would handle things. We pray, God, give us our Father's eyes as we look at things in our natural world so that we are able to see beyond what meets the natural eye. See as God sees. Let's pray. Father, even as we learn to be imitators of you, anoint our eyes that we may be able to see with our Father's eyes to see as God sees, to see potential, to see possibilities, to see the miraculous, to see hope. 
Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.